You gonna chime in there? No. You just tired of hearing me talk. Yeah, well. Dicks. Yeah, buddy. All right, buddy. Yeah. I think I do too much of anything. Can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Harry. And I'm Richard. You just want to show off that fancy box. I sure did, because it's dead decks. Yeah, it is, buddies. We are the epitome of fancy here, boys, <laughs> girls. Epitome? Gals, fellas, fillets. I don't know if I want any of that epitome. No, you don't. Today we're going to show you my little black book. <laughs> that big, fat black book, actually. Full of all kinds of phone numbers. Yeah, Whatever boy. ladies. All your ladies. I got all their numbers in here. <laughs> Take that, fellas. Uh, so this is a binder full of um, Game Crafter games that I bought a bunch of boosters of. I don't know if we're going to be showing this before or after we show me uh, opening all of those motherfuckers real fast. So Anyway, I thought this would be cool to see all together. And I'm going to try to be brief. Because there's like 30... Two games in here, I think. Good lord. Yeah. So, let's get on it. I don't know if that's good enough. I need to just zoom in and leave it on the table. It shows all nine cards. Okay. These are just like that. These are alphabetical order too, right? They are Our indeed. Because I am like that. Uh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I feel better. <laughs> well, that's what we're here for. How about you feeling better, sir? That's stunk too. <laughs> it smells like my fart. <laughs> <laughs> this is Alaria. Alaria? Alarmia? Alaria. <laughs> All I know is I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's about the feeling on it. These, uh, when I first saw these, I thought they looked professional. Then when you see them closer, you're like, uh, it looks like close. Uh, I still I still think they're decent looking cards. But yeah. It's not one of the ones that gets me really going. I just realized the way I'm doing this, I'm going to have to go back and forth. Oh. It opens like that. Cool. Cool. All right. So this over here is Arcana or Arcana. I'm going to say Arcana. I don't think they ever came out with anything. Or are we done yet? <laughs> it's just a second fucking page. <laughs> yeah, we're screwed. Here we are. <laughs> they just made this holiday special pack, and I don't think they ever mass produce anything else. Um, I like the looks of it, but again, it's really just a prototype demo pack. Astronomica is not one that excited me a whole lot after the fact. Did I say these were homemade TCGs? I you mentioned Game Crafter. Yeah, they're almost all homemade. So these are really small, a lot of hand-drawn, independently made. Uh, you know, if you don't know what that stuff is, well, we talk about it other places, I think. Uh, I still really dig the looks of this one, although the back doesn't say it. This is called Battle. Um, something about this, this aesthetic I really like. I like this cartoony look. I think the gameplay seems promising, so mm -hmm. I'm still intrigued in this one. It says Chaos Galaxy. Zach is he's one of the he is the biggest homemade TCG YouTuber, so I wanted to own a pack of that. Chaos and Assuming is one we're definitely gonna be diving into more. Um, he's still working on making this game. I fucking love this aesthetic. This is very high on my list. I absolutely love the art on these. Cogs of War, uh, one of the most professional looking games on Game Crafter. This and Eldritch Kingdom are really the top two. Uh, very sharp. Although, I think Chaos and Simming is in the running, too. But yeah, very pro look. This looks like a, an actual market product here to mm -hmm. me. Uh, this is one that surprised me that the more I looked at it and looked at gameplay and checked it out, I really want more of this. Uh, Combo Masters. It's got a really, you know, childish, cartoony aesthetic. But I really dig it. Uh, and I think it has promise. Probably going to try to get some more. Uh, this one, uh, Dom and Rhapsody, even though it looks professional, didn't it didn't strike my fancy. I mean, it's very well done. Mm -hmm. Congrats to him for being able to do it. But, uh, Dream Dimension is still an aesthetic that I dig, but uh, it didn't, didn't really tickle my fancy. And Dreamscape, not either. I'm not going to give a background on every game because it would just be too long. Yeah. There's the beautiful... <clears throat> oh. Hey there, big fella. <laughs> Elder's Kingdom. Uh, I mean, if you don't like that, just, just turn this off. Get out of here. How can you not like that? Holy shit. He even picked a binder up for you. I even did. That's a lot of work for a fellow like Richard. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Now I'm going to turn this fucker off. <laughs> Elemental Puzzle. Okay. <laughs> Exultia. Yeah. Uh, heroic. <laughs> uh, 
It's cool. I like. I really like that for a hand drawn aesthetic, but it's still not one of the ones that really gets my engine revving. Oh yeah, can't hardly show on the YouTube. I don't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> cartoon <laughs> boobs. Yeah, I think you can show cartoon boobs, can't you? I don't know. Uh, my bad. I forgot that was there. <laughs> <laughs> Court is one that I really uh, still like the aesthetic on a lot, but he only made he only made starters, but I think they were randomized. So I got that censorship hand going. Let's see if that saves us here. <laughs> We're going to try. Mayhem. So, eh. uh, and Monster Craft. Uh, so this Montgomery here, uh, really, really dug that aesthetic. I'm going to zoom in for that too. It's got a cartoony but dark thing. Uh, it appears to still be going and maybe they're going to make more stuff. I'm intrigued by that one a lot. You don't have enough cards for a full page on that? Nope. That was all that came in the pack. Oh, well. Uh, so Mystic Islands is one that just didn't, didn't rev my engine. Uh, Mystic Stadium I like just because this is so clean. Uh, and yeah, it makes it look childish, but uh, everything about that game is just very polished. He, he reminds me of me. If I were to make something, I would hope it would look this good, but everything is very clean. Text is very clear. There's no stupid typo shit. The rules are written great. Uh, just sniff some more. There we go. All right. Now it's a video. I gotta get that fucking line going again. Uh, <laughs> next gen, yeah. Uh, Omens of Steel and Orb Brawlers. Uh, <laughs> Oversoul. And I forgot the name of that one. Karma, so Karma Sutra. Uh, this one. <laughs> I did have to sniff again. Pixel Parties is, uh, very high at the list of one I'm super intrigued by. This still, a, it's a very active Discord. Active game. They're always making new cards. Uh, about to come out. They just did drop a few new starters on, uh, Game Crafter. Uh, I think you agreed you really like the aesthetics yeah, on this 8-bit stuff too. But I like yeah. the 8-bit. I think these are both, both of the sets that are on Gamecraft are like a couple hundred card sets. Uh, they've got a lot of content already. This this has promise. Uh, I am concerned based on what I've seen that it's a very busy game state, which Harry and I are typically too lazy for. Yeah. But we'll see. Uh, Raid is also, something about this game has stuck with me. I love this aesthetic. I don't know what it is, but... This just, this really does tickle my fancy. Probably that pig right there. Yeah, girl. Big old red pig. That reminds me of, oh, well, I ain't gonna say her name. <laughs> but I miss you, girl. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I really want some more of this. It's long gone. He's not making any more, and it was a small set. But, damn, it just looks freaking cool. Uh, Rune and Runiverse. I mean, even though Runiverse is real sharp and professional looking, it's just not my, not my cup of tea, really. It's too uh, Pokemon-like, but very, very nice-looking cards. Uh, SBC Tag Team, that's Sketchbook Chronicles variant that's still available on Game Crafter. I like that cartoony style, but it doesn't get me tore up. This is Shard. This is another one that I like well enough that I would really like to get some more cards of. Uh, that's another aesthetic that just is about perfect. I really like it. You going to chime in there? No. You just tired of hearing me talk? Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least you're honest. Eh. Tactics Battlegrounds is... I don't really know what I was doing there. It's a card game. Uh, the Great Harvest. <coughs> I might buy start as this still. This is one that... Uh, I mean, you're fucking farming. You got a turkey. You're going to whack him in the head and get some meat out of him and try to win the game. That's different enough that I had to get some of that. Yeah. Turkeys. Vinkfi. Uh, yeah. Wrath of course. so he's about to do a 2.0... Uh, I don't know exactly what that means. Uh, if he's, I don't think he's changing art. I think he's maybe cleaning up the aesthetic. So he is still active. This game is still running, and I still do really dig his color pencil, hand drawn, hand done aesthetic. And damn, I went faster than I thought. Yeah, look at you going. Yeah, I Eight just minutes and forty-seven seconds. I crossed over a bunch of pages and just went meh. So yeah. that made it pretty quick. You did say the name of the game, so there's that. I did announce every single one. Yeah, yeah. and you know I'm not hating on any of them. Just some of them tickle my fancy and some don't. Uh, <clears throat> like Mystic Stadium here. There's not a lot going on there, but something about it. I just think, man, I like that one. Yeah. Uh, mm, Elder's Kingdom. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. There's my binder of Game Crafter so far. I'm sure I, knowing me and Harry will probably back me up. I'll own more eventually. Oh, yeah. And I'll have to take these out of the fucking binder. Yep. And start all alphabetical again. sorting. I almost showed the tittles again. 
The tittles. Yeah, the tittles. All right. Well, shit. How we do on that then? Yeah, good enough. There you go, buddy. Shit fire.